Hello everyone, this is Andrew and today I'm gonna show you how to filter data from a MySQL database table. So, to, uh, for the purpose of this tutorial I've created this database called TestDB. Inside this database I've created this table called Members and I've populated this table with some data or better some names, random names, with some random uh, administration level. So as you can see here this table is composed by three fields. One is called ID, name, the other name and level. Let's quickly see the structure of this uh, table. So let's hit structure here. As you can see these are the fields. The first field is called ID is integer auto increment. So this means that every time a record is inserted this the value here will auto increment by one. These other two are uh, varchar, as you can see here. Let me browse. And these are the data. Now, what we will do in PHP, it uh, we will display all of these these records here in PHP, and then we will create a form to filter the data here. Like for example, to see how many people are called James or if this James is uh, admin or a user stuff like this so let's let's open our editor I have already created a project called filter data now the first thing we are gonna do is we're gonna create a new file with the PHP extension and inside this file that I'm gonna save with the name connection we're gonna store our code to connect to the database and to select uh, sorry to connect to server and to select the database uh, we will need this file later in this tutorial every time uh, we will need to access the database and to access our server so let's quickly begin connect is equal to my secret connect my server is localhost and it is local my user is root and my password is blank Should I, just to be sure for any errors and select db so the database if you remember it's called test db here The connection connect or die on simple error. I'm gonna browse this file to see if I typed anything wrong, if I made errors. So tutorials, filler data, connection. I don't see any error, so I think that everything's fine. I'm gonna close this file connection. I'm gonna create another file. I'm gonna call this file. So first of all I'm going to assign a PHP extension to this file. I'm going to save and I'm going to call this file display data. In this file we're going to create a table and some rows. I'm going to send this table a width of 70%. Cell padding. I'm going to make 5. I'm going to make 5 in you know, cell space. So I'm going to use this table row as title. So I'm going to assign titles ID, copy, paste, name. Level. Now let's quickly browse this file. The data. As you can see here, these are the labels that match these fields here. You can see the fields. And the labels are the same. Next, 
we're gonna need to connect to, uh, to our database in order to retrieve this information that is stored that is stored in this table here so to do that we need to include this file connection.php if you remember connection.php display data so Then we're gonna create a variable which I will call SQL. In this variable, we store the SQL, the SQL string. That will be select everything from these stars. This star here means everything from members. Close here. Next, we need to query this SQL string. Query, SQL, SQL, query, SQL, SQL, error. Now let's check. It's very good practice to always check your code for errors. Each time you write a new PHP file or code, so I don't have any error. The query seems to be running fine. But then, down here, I need to loop the records that I've stored here in this variable query. To do that I'm gonna write a while loop while row is equal to is equal fetch array or sock every they work the same query. Then we need to close the while loop. Now, since the while loop, uh, all what we will display is the same with these labels. So, I'm gonna copy this here, paste down there, down here, sorry. And then I'm gonna echo out everything. So, I'm gonna php echo row id. Okay, php echo row name so now this row is an array this is why we're using these square brackets here php echo row level let us check if everything's going fine okay now as you can see uh, here Everything's going as it should. The ID is displaying below this level ID, the name also, and the level also. Now we need to make these uh, labels stand out from all this, this other information. And I'm gonna make them strong. Bold. If you preview now in browser, refresh, you see that everything, these labels now are bold or are blacker than this other information that is founded below these labels. So now we need to, what we will do next, we need to achieve a this result where for example the field name is equal to let's say Aaron let me save this reload and as you can see we are now here now seeing only this record here this row where the name is Aaron. But we 
we like to do this dynamically like for example here instead of this uh, static name we will do like for example the name equals equal to name assign a variable and then query so this variable this time that this variable is changed we will make this query uh, select another row matching this name here this variable name here so let's quickly do that to do that we need to create a form which I will call form name search and then search input type change into text search box value is nothing and then next I'm gonna create an input type submit submit sorry name is equal to search value is equal to search the table let's quickly preview this code in the browser yes for the moment this search table doesn't do anything it Defo uh, its default action is get action which means that we will see the search string here in the address bar as you can see now what we're gonna do is we let me change this name of the form here to from search to search form and a, a method post and action is able to data.php now by default if we press this button here search the table we will know that the default action is the same file but just to be sure I've assigned it even in the action so let's refresh here. So get rid of this. Search. Okay. Sorry, I mistyped this date here. Display data. Let me refresh. Search table. Now we have a post, but no results. Now next, we are gonna check if a search was submitted. So if somebody wanted to search this page let's say uh, let's create this statement if is set post since now this method is post this input field search so if someone pressed this button search search then we're gonna store this we're going to create another variable called name or search term is equal to post this name search box paste now what we have done we have checked if somebody pressed this button submit and then from all of the posts that we have gotten from this form we selected only this search box because we are only interested in what's inside this search box the value of this search box okay now it is very good practice to prevent any SQL injection to always escape these values posted so I'm gonna do a SQL real escape string copy this post or rather cut and paste, paste it inside here the next thing to do is we're gonna extend this SQL variable so this string here we're gonna extend 
this string to look like where name equals to right because we need to query this data now if we press the search to display only where the name is equal to the field name is equal to this search term now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this part here cut and I'm gonna do SQL then a dot and equal this is how we uh, concatenate the string with the same name we concatenate the string in PHP is with the same name and then followed by a dot and then by a equal sign here now hopefully we have done everything right now I'm gonna test this page for errors let me refresh reload sorry display data now let me make a uh, search like James as you can see now I'm gonna have this James or Aaron now we are displaying only this record but how about we wanted to search not only for the name but even for the level now if we want to do that to search for example not just for the name but but even for the level with the same field we would do something like this SQL concatenate again is equal to or and level equals to search term which means this means to search where name is equal to this where field name is equal to the search term or word level where the level is equal to search term so it doesn't matter which of these two fields is equal to this search uh, the query will be executed whenever this search term is found in either of two fields in name and level let me check this. Sorry, we have an error. An error. Line 15. Ah. There should not be any space here. So let me save. Try again. Reload. Resend. Okay. Now let's say admin. Okay. We can see that we have three admins. And their names are James, Aaron, and Nina. Now let's see. Guests. We don't have any guest, but we have user. As you can see, this Sarah is user. So hopefully this is a useful tutorial for you. You, If you want, you might uh, extend it further. You might use wildcards like for example this percentage sign here to search only for one particular character in all the name field you can experiment that by yourself this is all I had to do for this tutorial so let's retry again let's say Aaron and we have records here admin we have three admins here you can do you can further do if you like number of row founds or if we found anything or we didn't find everything you can extend this further so thank you for watching and good